Welcome back, adventurers. Imagine setting out for a beautiful hike through one of America's most stunning national parks, only to end up fighting for your life in the grip of quicksand. Today, we're diving into the harrowing true story of Ryan Osman, who found himself trapped waist deep in quicksand in Utah's Zion National Park, alone in freezing temperatures with no help in sight. In this episode, you'll hear every heart-stopping detail of his 12-hour ordeal, from the moment he sank into the sand to his desperate battle to stay alive through the night. What would you do if you were in his shoes? Stay tuned, because this is one survival story you won't believe. This was the nightmare Ryan Osman faced in Utah's Zion National Park. It was a quiet February morning of 2019 when photographer Ryan Osman and his girlfriend Jessica McNeil set off on the most exciting subway trail a rugged nine-mile hike famous for its towering canyon walls that feel like they're closing in on you. This nine-mile hike is known for its otherworldly, tunnel-shaped canyon and breathtaking scenery. The couple expected a challenging trek, but they were totally unprepared for the terrifying struggle that lay ahead. It was a crisp morning, the sky clear and promising. The towering canyon walls glowed a warm, rusty red, creating a stunning contrast against the still blue sky. Fresh mountain air filled their lungs as they eagerly looked forward to the nine miles of scenic cliffs, rushing streams, and boulders they'd be navigating. The thrill of adventure pumped through them with every step. They had talked for weeks about this hike, dreaming of the iconic tunnel-shaped canyon that earned the trail its name. This was going to be one for the books, a perfect day spent exploring the beauty of Zion. Midway through the trail, the day took a dramatic turn. Snow began to fall, adding a layer of beauty and mystery to the already stunning landscape. But as they reached a deceptively shallow-looking pond, everything changed in seconds. Because the pond looked shallow, they began to wade through. Jessica led the way, her boots splashing into what seemed like a shallow pool. But just a few steps in, her face twisted in shock. Her foot sank. Then her entire leg was swallowed by the sand beneath her. She gasped, trying to pull herself free, but the ground pulled her deeper, like it had hands gripping her ankles. In a panic, she fell forward, both legs disappearing into the muck. She was trapped. Ryan watched in horror as she began sinking, and without a second thought, he lunged forward, grabbing her under the shoulders and yanking her free. But as she scrambled to safety, he felt the ground begin to suck him down locking onto his legs with an iron grip. He trapped thigh deep in freezing quicksand, unable to move. Ryan felt the earth seize him with relentless force. His right leg sank up to his thigh, the quicksand pulling him down inch by inch, like a trap that had been lying in wait. He tried to wrench his leg free, but it was useless. The more he struggled, the tighter it held him. Jessica spun around, horror filling her eyes as she watched him sinking. Desperate, she grabbed a stick they'd picked up earlier and passed it to him, hoping he could pry himself loose. Ryan jammed it into the quicksand, pushing and pulling, but it was like trying to lift a boulder with a twig. Refusing to give up, Jessica dropped to her knees and began scooping handfuls of sand away from his leg, frantically digging as fast as she could. But with every handful she pulled, the sand filled back in, almost mocking her efforts. Stop! You're wasting your energy! Ryan finally told her, his voice calm but heavy with the terrifying realization. He was trapped, miles from help, and with no way out. The more he fought, the deeper he sank. It wasn't just mud, it was like being swallowed by cement. As Ryan's words sank in, Jessica felt a chill that had nothing to do with the freezing air around them. She looked at him, trapped waist deep in quicksand, his face pale with the knowledge that he was completely stuck. Cell service was non-existent this deep in the canyon, and the trailhead was five grueling hours away over rugged terrain. There was only one choice left. Jessica had to hike back alone, leaving Ryan behind in the icy grip of the quicksand. With a determined nod, she took a deep breath, knowing she had to face miles of snow-covered trail in hopes of reaching help. As her footsteps faded into the distance, Ryan was left alone feeling the weight of the quiet canyon close in around him. The snow began to fall harder, layering over him as he tried to stay alert, 
his body numbing with every passing hour. At one point, Ryan dozed off, his upper body slipping further into the quicksand. He jolted awake, heart pounding as he jammed his stick into the ground to keep from sinking deeper. Exhaustion clawed at him, but he knew if he let go, he might be lost forever. Hours ticked by, and just as his hope began to fade into the freezing darkness, a distant flicker of light caught his eye. He squinted, praying it wasn't just a trick of the moonlight. And then a flicker of light. Ryan was moments from giving up when he saw what he thought was moonlight. But it was his rescuer's flashlight. The first rescuer arrived, but even he couldn't pull Ryan out alone. It took an entire team with ropes, a pulley system, and intense physical strength to wrench him from the quicksand. Every tug felt like his leg was being torn apart, yet they were his only hope of escape. And soon, the entire rescue team arrived, setting up a complex pulley system to free Ryan's leg. The rescuers had to rig up a pulley system, tying ropes to boulders and bracing themselves as they pulled with all their strength. The pain was beyond anything Ryan had ever felt. It was as if his leg was being torn from his body, but he held on, fighting through every excruciating tug. And then, with one final pull, his leg broke free from the sand's unyielding grip. The next part of the story? He was still trapped, not by quicksand this time, but by a snowstorm too dangerous for a helicopter to land. So after 12 hours of agony, Ryan had to spend a freezing night in the canyon with his rescuers. As the morning sun rose, Ryan was finally airlifted to safety, with his legs swollen to twice its size. He was safe, but forever changed by the terrifying ordeal that nearly took his life in Zion's unforgiving wilderness. After surviving 12 hours in quicksand, a blizzard in the freezing night, Ryan's story is more than a survival tale. It's a reminder of how a simple adventure can become a life and death battle against nature. What would you do if you found yourself sinking into quicksand miles from help? This is the real life story of a man who had to find out. Thank you for watching this incredible survival story. Ryan and Jessica's experience in the harsh, unforgiving wilderness of Zion reminds us of the strength and resilience we can find in the most desperate moments. We hope this tale of bravery, quick thinking, and determination inspired you to keep pushing through your own challenges. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more stories that remind us all of what's possible when we refuse to give up. Stay safe out there, adventurers, and we'll see you in the next video.